All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to um, fill in this little uh, tree that's kind of flattened. You know, when you look at it, you're like, wow, that looks really, really fake. So uh, what we're going to do is I'm going to zoom out here a little bit. And we're going to add, so Shift A, uh, plane. So Shift A, then mesh, then plane. Um, we're going to go tab for edit mode, U for unwrap. We're going to unwrap that, go change our view uh, here to uh, UV editing. Um, I loaded a, a tree. You can load images by going to image and then open image and then you find your image and load it. Um, and I already got one that's all set up for alpha. And so it's it's actually loaded right in. So there it is, right here. Um, we can go back to default so we have a bigger view of this. And let's actually rotate that on the X 90. And then let's rotate it on the Y negative 90. Right? Now let's bring it down a little bit and bring it back. And let's scale it down. Dad, there we go. Something like that. Alright, so right now if we were to render that, it would just be a white image. It's nothing nothing great. So get out of there. We go to the materials tab. We go new material. And then down here we're gonna select text faced, but then we're also gonna select face textures alpha and Z transparency that out and see it's transparent but you can still see an outline and a shadow so what we need to do there is take traceable take that off take intensity and drop that down and then hardness we're gonna bring that up to say about 360 and there you go you have your your bush but it's not quite done yet. What I'm doing here is for more of like a game. Um, and I'll, I'll probably get more into that later. Um, but this is kind of like a, a quick little trip that, trick that you can do to kind of create depth within it. Um, so we're going to actually go Shift D. And we're going to drag it out. Uh, well, actually, we can just leave it there. And we're going to rotate that on the z-axis okay so we can rotate it um, like a little bit this way a little bit that way um, we're going to do that a couple times so shift d and then rotate on the z-axis we'll go the other way and let's let's see what that looks like so it kind of has like a three-dimensional-ish look to it it's kind of coming out at you now for the size of this house that bush is humongous. So let's escape out of there. Um, let's actually give it one more side. So Shift D, rotate on the Z. So it's right there. And actually, I just want to check and make sure that the other side, yeah, the other side is because they're um, in here somewhere. It says that it's double sided. So in here in the um, the object data, the uh, it is clicked on double sided. So that's that's key for this. Otherwise, you're going to have to duplicate it and then flip the normals, and it's just a pain. So double sided really helps you out with that. Um, however, if you go and you try to look at it in textured mode, if you click here zero. You can see that it's completely see-through. Um, yeah, it's not gonna quite work out that way. Um, but once you actually render it, then you can actually view it. So, yeah. All right. Well, let's get out of rendered. Let's go back to textured. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go out of edit mode object mode and we made this its own its own entity its own object and we're going to scale that down again the whole the whole thing all 
grab that on the y, back a little bit. And let's render that out. Okay, so that's that's a that's a decent push there. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go shift D on that whole thing, and we're just gonna copy it and put it on this landscape in a bunch of different places. And don't just put it over the tree because if you just put it over the tree then it's going to look like you're just trying to cover up something. So I'll put it several places here and there you go. Still could probably use a little bit of a touch up there. Um, and these look pretty regular. Um, so what we're gonna do is select a couple of these and rotate those on the Z axis. Rotate that on the Z axis. Rotate that one on the Z axis. And let's see if that helps helps it change it up a little bit. If you found this tutorial useful, uh, please subscribe to our channel and um, leave a comment in the comment area below.